Good morning, afternoon or evening and welcome to Edenia. My name is Krimi Clown, and today we'll be playing some modded Minecraft. In fact, we'll be playing some Tech It. Um, on my old YouTube channel, my Dutch YouTube channel, I used to play a lot of Tech It. Uh, my first video was Tech It, uh, my last videos were Tech It and all in all I've played a couple of seasons of modded Minecraft. Uh, today we'll be playing uh, Ticket Legends, which is basically the Ticket of Old. It has um, it has equivalent exchange. It has industrial craft. It has a couple of other technical mods, which I will of course show you. Um, for now, let's just start a new world. We'll do survival. We don't need any hardcore, anything like that. World type default. Generate structures. Allow cheats off, obviously, because. When you're playing Tech It, there's always the game breaker and we'll be getting right on that right away. You can get insanely rich, uh, so to speak, in this mod pack very quickly. And I like it like that because I like building. I like to be in a creative mode between... Um, I'm doing the air tags, but you can't see my fingers, of course. Um, <laughs> I love to be... Uh, I love to be creative, I love to do a lot of stuff in a very short time. Um, if you look at my hand, of course, we've got our science outfit on, we've got the lab coat, we've got the tie, uh, we've got the goggles, of course, the glasses. Can't go without glasses. Well, just like any old mod pack, uh, any other Minecraft game, really, I'll start by getting some wood. Uh, if you've noticed, I have got a texture pack on, and it's called Sfax. And Sfax is one of my favorite mod packs for, uh, sorry, favorite resource packs for mod packs. I've used it in all my Let's Plays thus far. Uh, if you do not like the texture pack, the resource pack, is it called, um, I would like to disable it if the majority is against me having a resource pack. For now, I'll just keep it on. Uh, it's very faithful to uh, to classic Minecraft. It's just a bit more cartoony, and I like it that way. It's not like you look at a flower and you think, oh, I don't know for sure if that's a dandelion or a flower pot. Uh, but it is indeed a, a dandelion, and that is, of course, uh, because this mod pack is, as I said, very faithful. Now, we've got a couple of blocks here. Let's uh, let's make an axe. One of the first things I make is an axe nowadays because the difference between a stone axe and a wooden axe, it's not really that great. So, I just like to make a wooden axe. We'll get, uh, we'll get right on making some... Uh, getting some cobblestone, rather, uh, in just a minute. But first, we need some trees. We need to chop some wood so we can get some apples for early... Oh, look, because we've got an axe, by the way, it has tree capacitator in it. So, we'll probably get a nice big flop out of this. There we go. Come on, it's taking its sweet time. But there we go. Plop. And you get all the saplings and leaves and apples and what have you as well. So that's very nice. Um, let's get some. Uh, let's get some trees, shall we? Uh, I'm wondering, should I be a total jerk and just? Uh, oh, there's a, a lot of different trees as well. That's great. So we're on the on the verge of a, a tiger biome, which is uh, nice. I think this is tiger. Um, there's some forest hills also great and there is a regular forest as well so we've got we've got variety which is nice um, in one of my ticket series I believe it was season three I used to leave all the stumps of trees on the ground so you could see just how much wood you're chopping I think I think I'm, I'm gonna do the same because just look at this this impression. This is a cut down tree, and you can exactly see where it was cut down. I think, I think we'll just leave the stumps right here. I think we'll be maniacs like that. All right. So if we grab this one from this height, I believe it will. 
actually leave some yeah it will leave the leaves so you have to manually get rid of these which is well it's it's not not a big deal but it's not ideal either um, the thing is you can't replant uh, a sapling on top of a log obviously so you can just see how devastating you are as a player to the environment of Minecraft if you don't replant. So I think that's a good uh, a good moral high ground to start with. Uh, we tend to educate. Obviously, we tend to educate. There's bees in this as well, and also crossbreeding of trees will definitely get into forestry this time. We have barely touched the surface of forestry. Uh, even on my Dutch channel, I have never ever on screen gotten into forestry which is a shame because it's a it's a darn brilliant mod all right let's cut this one down there we go it's it's not very fast i admit but we'll uh, we'll gather some cobblestone long before long and we'll just keep on hacking for now so let's um let's find a steep Cliff. We, we could build into this cliff. We can have a, a, a cave. We can have a man cave. Yeah, I like the idea of having a man cave. So let's build our shell, ourselves a shovel. Alright, there we go. And also a pickaxe for good measure. And I will keep these first tools as a memento. There we go. It's time to mine, so let's dig straight into the side of the cliff. Uh, yeah, let's do it over here. There we go. We'll make a three wide entrance, three high as well, and we'll put a door in as soon as we're ready. We'll have some coal to make some torches, which is nice, so we don't have to burn any logs early on. Uh, we don't really need to use um, we don't really need to use any charcoal I don't think we'll uh, we'll see how we fare with just these couple of coal bits all right this is nice uh, we really should board up the entrance because that is key uh, we should also upgrade our pickaxe because we have got enough of this cobblestone so we can have a bigger pickaxe a nicer pickaxe a pickaxe with a future there we go uh we'll also yeah we'll also make a shovel because we we need a shovel everybody needs a shovel there we go two sticks and a cobblestone that will make a nice relaxing shovel uh, we can also use these last couple of sticks. First of all, let's just make some more sticks. Why not? We can use these sticks to make some torches, which will make our life a lot easier. Alright, so the first base is going to be a man cave, and I'm entirely fine with that. I don't really mind. So there we go. We will make the floor out of wood, because we are not complete savage. There we go. Uh, let's have some dirt on our inventory as well. All right. Let's do it like this. We'll gather some cobblestone from this side of the wall. And I don't know if we'll we'll obviously build a base or something, but I think it's nice for a change to start in a cave. I have rarely started in caves and I welcome the challenge. So let's just dig until we find a cave and let's just go with it. So this will be the entrance. Nice and sturdy, made out of cobblestone. We'll have a torch right above the door. So we can see what we're doing. There we go. So as you might have noticed, I'm not really explaining the basics of Minecraft because, uh, well, the basics of Minecraft, let's be honest, the game is 
what, six years old now? Something like that. If you haven't heard of Minecraft and you haven't played it before, and you are just here to learn how basic Minecraft works, well then, this series, I have to say regrettably, is not for you. Uh, if you want to learn how Minecraft works and the basics of just getting around in Minecraft, I will start a series on that, but that is not this series. Anyway, for now, we've got a little bit of cobblestone, which is great for starters. We can make some furnaces, etc, etc. Uh, first thing, though, we need to look for is some iron we definitely need some iron first uh, because we want to make machines we want to be technical we want to have a generator we want to have some power and there's there's a couple of ways in which you can uh, gather power i think industrial craft is the best beginner because uh, the best beginners uh, mod to start with because when you're playing industrial craft you also get these um uh, these things called macerators, compressors, etc., etc., and they are really good for um, for ore refinement. So if you find an iron ore in the ground, you can use a macerator to make not one but two iron dust, and iron dust can be smelted in a furnace to make iron. So you basically double your ore output just by putting them through a macerator. But macerators need power, and it's uh, it's not very complicated, but it is very time consuming. I'm pressing F7 to see, you can see these squares on the ground. If you press F7, you can see if there is a spot in need of lighting. If it's yellow, uh, it will only spawn monsters during the night, which it will become very soon. And if it's red, it will be dangerous because there will be no daylight, uh, like you can see here. These spots, there will never be daylight, so uh, there will always be monsters spawning. Uh, let's go for our crafting table. Let's put it right up in the middle of the wall and let's build a door. There we go. We'll put in a wooden door and we'll put it in sideways. This is another trick. If you put a wooden door in sideways, let's... Uh, put it the other way around I like it to be flush uh, do I like it to be flush with this wall no no not at all I like it to be flush with the inside I had it correct all the time there we go um, now there's a, a trick because uh, we're playing on a hard uh, at least I do believe we're playing on hard yes we are so zombies will actually bust down your doors but if you place if you place a door like this it's closed but if you uh, place a door like this it is still closed and because it's closed now zombies will try to bash on it but if it's open like this and it looks weird because it is actually closed the door is flush with the inside but actually it is open now because of the way i oriented it so a zombie will not try to bash in this door which is great also i just discovered that if you punch a door you can see through the water well isn't that peachy all right let's turn the uh, yellow crosses off uh, pressing f7 uh, Let's make this a little workshop. We'll just need to, we'll just need a couple of chests to get started with. Uh, let's have four of these if we can afford it. I don't think so. We need some more locks. Well, that's that's just spiffy. We'll have a, a couple of more logs. That's fine. All right, there's four chests, and we can place the chests uh, here and here. We can have a furnace just on top of this crafting bench. Because why not? It's, uh, we're getting achievements by the day uh, today. Let's see. Let's put uh, earth blocks in here. Let's put uh, other stuff in here. Um, sure. Why not? There we go. Um, now, because it's dark outside, there will be a lot of monsters spawning. And that's not good for us. Because we don't have any armor. We don't have any weapons, really, to... Um, to sustain ourselves, to protect ourselves. We'll get right on it, by the way. Let's just make some uh, 
let's just make some sticks. We'll make some tools. Stone tools for now we'll have to do. I will also make a stone axe. This is all fine and dandy, but it won't protect us really from the, the big, the bad outside. So here we go. That's a couple of weapons. Time to strike. We also, I just remembered, need a, a hoe. So we can actually do some farming. Because you don't really need to farm in the early game. Uh, it's very good uh, late game just to get some food. But in the in the beginning you can you can forage all you want. That's fine. You can also get a lot of apples by just chopping down trees. Which is great. Uh, anyway, we don't want to go outside. There's monsters outside. So what do we do? Well, obviously we can dig. And for digging you do need a lot of sticks. Because you want to make ladders, you want to be able to uh, go up and down, and you want to be able to, there we go, how much is it? That's 27 ladders, it's probably not enough to get us to the, no, it's definitely not enough to get us to bedrock, but we'll manage. Um, let's see, this room, it's, uh, we, we can put some torches up here, and we can dig down either to the, uh, to the left side or to the right side, let's see. Where is the hill the biggest? That's that way the hill is biggest, so we want to be able to make rooms under that part of the hill. We'll just dig down right here. Uh there we go. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, not really. Uh so always when you're digging, you have you will want to stand on uh on one side of a brick and do it like this. Why do you want to do it like this? Because if you do it like this, you will either fall on the left or the right block. You can keep your balance between them. And even better, you will notice immediately if you're digging down into lava or in a deep cave. Or if your pickaxe breaks, which is something I hadn't really thought of. So let's, <laughs> let's go back up. And let's make a lot more pickaxes. I was very unprepared. There we go. Let's make uh, let's make three. Why not? Bam. That will be enough for a, sh a short while, but but it will keep us uh, will keep us uh, in in picks for now. So there you go. What was I saying? Oh yeah, you should always stand on two bricks at the same time. So when you fall and you fall deep, you at least can see where you're falling to uh, let's grab a torch because I think I saw yes I saw some copper and copper is an ore that's not in default minecraft but it is in this mod pack and copper will help us with a lot of machines really so how much copper is this that's quite a bit that's eight copper great uh, if we've got six uh, oh, there's even more. We do need to plug up this hole because otherwise mobs will spawn in it. You can also use this neat little trick. Just touch down a torch. Grab some cobblestone. Fill it up. And now you can place your ladder back on here. And there will never be a monster in that little space because it's lit. Which is great. We don't want mobs in our spaces. Alright, let's just grab a couple of more cobblestone. Because the, the best... Uh, seriously, the best way to get rid of uh, those spaces is just by filling it in. Uh, cobblestone is one of the most common things you'll find in the world. And... Cobblestone... Yeah, you, I really value a torch higher than a couple of cobblestone. Uh... If you're deep in, in a cave and you are, uh, it's very dark and you run out of torches, that's that's it. That's the end of your run. Uh, if you run out of cobblestone, you just mine into the side of a wall. Alright, so let's plonk down some more cobblestone and some more ladders. And let's just get deeper and deeper until it is daytime and i think it will be daytime very soon i just don't know for sure this is a limestone apparently 
sounds rather useless if I do say so myself. All right, let's plonk down a torch. Let's get some ladders. Let's go uppity uppity. There we go. We've got seven more ladders, which is great. All right. So that's two. Oh, there's some iron. Nice. can grab this as well there's no shame in grabbing everything you can that's just four iron that's not not a lot uh, of course there will be a lot of iron in in the near future because I tend to set up extreme mining corporations there we go a bit more copper yeah, it won't be long before we are swimming in iron. Mark my words. We'll, uh, we'll get everything. We'll get quarries. We'll get uh, automatic water processing machines. That's one more ladder for the go. And here you are, sir. Your last ladder. And this block is safe as well. We seem to be hitting a gravel patch, which is never fun. Gravel is not the most common, but certainly one of the worst blocks in the game. It's fairly useless, it doesn't look good, and even with the texture pack usually it's, <laughs> it's rubbish. Uh, Alright, so this is earth stuff, great. We've got two kinds, as you can see, two kinds of copper ore, and that's because there is ore conflict. And I don't think the ore dictionary is installed in this mod pack, otherwise it would have, um, have recognised... Yeah, there's no ore dictionary. Uh, it's usually, uh, if you press U while hovering an item, you can see what it's used for. If you go one back, usually it says ore dictionary. This one doesn't. So we've got uh, different kinds of tin from different kinds of ores. Which is not, uh, it's, it's no disaster, but it can be quite annoying. Anyway, it's day. Uh, we have survived the first night. We've started making a ladder down to bedrock. We'll grab some materials. We'll do some mining. Uh, we'll get a quarry going. Uh, let's see. Are we safe? No mobs right here? No, that's great. We can get up the hill from here. Uh, we can keep on devastating the forest. Uh, I do really want your spidery goodness. There we go. That is one spider eye. I was hoping for some string, because we will need to make a bed sooner or later, and you can make a bed using string to make wool. We could also try finding some sheep. But the only thing I've seen so far is these pigs, which, will, which we will definitely get rid of sometime soon. Because, of course, we need to eat. <laughs> In fact, we're out of apples, so let's get rid of these pigs to get some pork chops. Now don't mind uh, don't mind the repopulation for now. Uh, usually I save one or two pigs rather uh, <laughs> preferably two uh, near my base but in this mod pack there is no need because we can fabricate pigs later on. So that's a that's a good thing. Anyway here we are here's our cliffside. Uh, I'll do some more wood gathering and uh, we'll see to it that we get to bedrock and do some serious mining next time we play minecraft so uh let me know let me know if you like the texture pack or if you would like to um if you would like me to play in default i can show you default right now by getting rid of these uh these mod packs and just having default right there so there we go takes a while it takes a while there we go this is the default look of minecraft if you would prefer this over a mod uh, over a resource pack just let me know there's bound to be a pull up on the top of the screen right now so let me know that's it for now i uh, i say thank you for watching uh Thank you for also leaving a like on this video. It really helps out the channel. And if you didn't like the video, you are free to leave a dislike, which doesn't help the channel, but at least you're being honest. Anyway, that's it for now. Goodbye, and I'll see you all 
next time.